Welcome to week four for personality theories. This week we're going to be talking about Harry Stack Sullivan and Adler. And so I think you'll really enjoy this. Um, there's a concept or there's um, a, a, a school of thought that Adlerian parent training programs um, have suggested that parent training should be a prerequisite for parenthood or parenting uh, should be something that is a licensed activity. So I'm just wondering if you want to give that some thought and think about what your uh, feelings or thoughts are about that and if you believe that or if you agree with it or if you disagree with it. Um, so it's just, uh, it's an interesting concept. I think some people might think it's a good idea because parenting is one of the hardest jobs out there, but um, also I think there's the instincts that we do have. Um, there's a concept also this week, um, so be sure to read your chapters, um, the parataxic distortions. Um, and um, according to Sullivan, a parataxic distortion is very similar to Freud's concept of transference um, in that it involves person A reacting to person B as if person B had the qualities of an important person from person A's past. Um, so think about that um, concept and, and it's very relevant to um, countertransference and transference as you'll read about um, or that we have, you know, we talk about in this class. Um, the other concept that's really important to, to note or to think about um, with respect to the we, this week's um, material is the concept of birth order. Adler has a theory around birth order and that um, people in uh, various orders in the family are going to have certain kinds of personalities um, and um, be a certain kind of way due solely because of their order of having been born. So um, think about that and think about the birth order that you're in. Uh, where do you fall in the lineup and do you kind of fit some of those theories that you're going to read about in the chapter this week or does it not really make sense at all? Um, one consistent finding um, of the birth order research has been that the relationship of birth order and achievement motivation and that is that firstborns tend to have higher achievement motivation than other other of the children in the family. I'm so wondering what your thoughts are about that. Maybe some of you are a firstborn um, and maybe you would agree or maybe you wouldn't agree. Maybe you're one of the third or fourth born and maybe you're very motivated. So maybe you're not sure about that, but um, it, does, it does come up in the research. Um, it also suggests in the research that um, uh, later borns are more likely to be innovative and more likely to be, um, or they're more likely to be the kind of person to question authority or question traditional values, if that makes sense. And so out of um, 28 scientific uh, revolutions in the last 400 years, 23 were led by later firstborns. Later borns were also more likely to lead reform movements such as the civil rights movement, the abolition of slavery, union organization and women's rights. And so some of those, um, some of that research does really fit the theory um, that Adler put forth, but I'm sure we have um, ideas and thoughts about both sides. So be sure to kind of think about all of that when you're going through your chapter this week. Um, there's the other concept of the uh, creative self. And um, this is something that um, Adler talks about. So be sure to go into that um, discussion as well. Um, Adler's uh, position on consciousness was something that uh, prompted Freud to, to discuss the ego and saying that the ego is playing the ludicrous part of the clown in a circus who by his gestures tries to convince the audience that every change in the circus ring is being carried out under his orders. <laughs> and so, but only the youngest of the spectators are deceived by him. So give that thought and see what you think about that. Um, so, um, yeah, think about that concept and that statement and, and what do you think are the differences between Freud's conception of the ego and Adler's conception of the creative self. Um, that'll be an important distinction to kind of read through and, and uh, have clear in your mind. Um, family therapy is something that comes out of Adler and Sullivan's theories and so um, family therapy is really an important thing in, in our field. And so you'll um, see kind of where that comes from as well and what their ideas are about family therapy. So I think you're really going to enjoy this week's chapter. It's, um, there's a lot of content. Um, there's a lot of good material. These are two really profound theorists that we draw from still today when we're doing clinical work and we're doing research. So um, I hope you enjoy week three or I'm sorry, week four. And um, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Um, look at my office hours if you want to jump in, if you need anything, or if you want to just shoot me an email and schedule another time that works better, that's also fine. So um, work hard for week four, and we'll see you online.